嘿、hey, ，大家好，我是李贝。嗯，学习课本好不好？学到哪儿？学到第十一节课。我不在家时，猫在干什么？猫在干什么？我们学到第一百十四页。哦、oh, ，we've passed the hundred page mark. All right， 学习。呃，你养过猫吗？我没有，我养过狗、鸟、猫呢，没有。啊，呃，猫喜欢做什么？啊，请找出与下列图片相对应的内容。OK， 猫，这只猫，哦，这是我过去的答案。啊，这只猫喜欢做什么？喜欢睡觉。这是灰毛，呃，灰毛发的猫。喜欢睡觉，其实他们都是那个是比较白的，对吗？就是浅浅灰猫，它喜欢睡觉，对吗？睡觉，<笑>或者现在就是在睡觉。猫大部分时间在睡觉，对吗？猫喜欢舔舔水、舔水、喝水。我是牛奶吗？不知道。<笑>呃，喝。喝水，喝水。好，这只猫，嗯，等着主人回来，呃，回家，回家等着主人在门口门槛，就等着嗯主人回家。嗯 ，OK， 在门呃门口呃迎接主人。好，第，呃，猫，这个猫在舔舔它的。一手对吗？呃，就是让他的毛发呃变得更漂亮。呃 ，OK， 梳理梳理自己的毛发，梳理梳理就是 to comb 对吗？我用这个，就是我比较旧的，这样梳理我梳理头发，梳理梳理怎样？可以吗？梳理，<笑>我梳头发，梳理头，呃，梳理自己的毛发。猫也喜欢梳理。这只猫喜欢，呃，嗯，捕，嗯，狩猎，喜欢狩猎，会扑到小老鼠、小耗子的身上，对吗？嗯、呃、，see， 呃，抓老鼠，也对吗？抓住老鼠 ，catch m a n s 这只猫，嗯、呃，就是在呃，这个阳呃 ，no， 窗窗台窗台上休息休息休息的过日子呵呵。哦，就是在这里休息。我啊、哦，晒太阳也也可以晒太阳，但是猫能够晒太阳吗？嗯，也许可以。我认为它就是。嗯，就是看风景啊、呃，也呃享受风呃来吹，吹到他的身上。好嘞，啊、uh, ，that part was fairly easy， 那个没有那么难，对吗？呃，下一个部分，下下个部分，就这词汇。嗯、um, ，OK， 就是呃，包含“号”那个四声的“号”。那个汉字的词汇，我们学习。好，就是 means interested in or maybe interested in is fine. It's used quite abstract either. 嗯，第一个词汇，好动，好动。嗯，就是 interested in moving， 好动 ，means restless， 好动是形容词，啊，很好动，好动，形容词。形容就是孩子，对吗？孩子很好动。好动哦，什么问题？好动，好动，呃、uh, ，be overactive slash restless， hyperactive。他是一个好动的孩子，耶。嗯，好客，<咳>你说“好客”这个词汇，我会想起，你知道比尔·比尔·博·巴金斯 （Bilbo Baggins）。嗯，他很好客，他喜欢客人来到他的家，他可以嗯、呃、坐
呃做主人，对吗？他喜欢他呃他喜欢人来他的家，他很好客。嗯 ，Bill Baggins likes having guests over. Although he prefers it if they are invited first, <laughs> unlike a certain party of dwarves. <clears> how <throat> chi? How chi is curious? Well, how chi? Um, I am like interested or fascinated. Well, how chi? Um, how chi? Well, how chi do when? I curiously asked. Well, how chi? Hmm, curiously that describes my mental state, not the question, <laughs> right? Yeah, well, how to when? That means I'm 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 curious about a topic. It doesn't mean the question itself is curious. <clears throat> um, all right. Uh, how how strong? What is how strong? I don't. Know. Where's my green? How strong? Competitive. I don't know. I really don't know. How strong? How strong? Yo. 强 eager to do well in everything. 好强 competitive. 他非常好强，事事总想领先。All right, 好强。I did not know that one. 呃，好学也好学。Um, this is like interested in study. 好学。Um, 好胜。Presumably, it means 好好强，好胜。Like wants to win. They all seem to be adjectives that mean a keen on winning or keen on studying or keen on moving. Uh, how, sheng, how sheng, how sheng. This one, how sheng, oh, how sheng. 喜欢事事胜过别人 Okay, so yeah, it is pretty much the same as how chang. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna count that as green too, just in case.、Oh. Green are the words that I don't really know. Maybe one day I will revise. Maybe unlikely. <laughs> this is my second time going through this book, so you know. How Jan? Yeah, how Jan? Jan is Jan Zhong Da Jan. Jan Yi Da Jan. Jan is war, right? How Jan likes war, interested in war. How Jan? Yeah, so maybe a warlike leader.、Uh, okay, 爱好 Yeah, 爱好兴趣爱好 Um, yeah, 爱好是动词也是名词，你知道吗？这是很重要的。我爱好，我爱好什么？我爱好埃及邮票。I'm, uh, yeah, we don't have that word in English. Um, yeah, <laughs> we don't have a verb that means to be one of my hobbies, to be a hobby, or <laughs> no, is what? Yeah, we don't have that word. <laughs> I am interested in stamp collecting. Maybe that's the closest. I how well I how 和平对吗 I am interested in peace, right? Peace、uh, as in like world peace, 世界和平呃、uh, ，喜好，喜好音乐 ，Yeah， this is a verb， right？ No， it's verb and a noun。Let me get try。喜好，音乐是他的一个喜好 ，That's a noun。他喜好音乐 ，I'm not so sure about that。Maybe， 喜好 ，verb <coughs>。他从小就喜好音乐。Yeah, I think also include is a noun as well. Ah,、uh, okay. 个人有个人的喜好 Yeah, this is a noun. So maybe 喜好 is like 爱好 Um, yeah, it's almost the same, is it? Like both a verb and a noun. The definition is very similar. Ah,、uh, 对某种事物感兴趣 All right, that's pretty similar to I hop, right? I hop. No, I hop. All right. C C I. I have a certain food interest. All right. So maybe I hop is a bit more intense than C hop. 
What is that? Shiha. I don't know this one. Don't the means it all. Shiha. All right. Do I need to know it exists? I don't recall ever encountering that one before. <laughs> Next, Lee. Um, Lee. Hmm. There's a few meanings for Lee. Um, for example, Holy is rational, whereas Shuli, uh, Shuli, to comb. Hmm. Maybe it means to make ordered or something like this. Zhongli, <clears throat> Zhongli to tidy, Zhongli, Zhongli fang jian, right? Ma. Shuli, Shuli tofa, Shuli tofa. Wanli to manage. Ban li, Ban li. Yeah, it's ban li, right? Ma. Ban li. Hmm. Yeah, to to ban. Ban is to kind of solve problems, whereas ban li is maybe solve them and make them. Uh, I don't know. Neat. What's the difference? I don't know. Ben and Benny. Neil. Benny. Truly. Yeah. Handle. Yeah. It's kind of just Ben. <laughs> Benny. Me Benny. Shamba. Benny. Uh, Benny. Xiao Jian Xing Li. Uh, Ji Chun Ye Wu. Okay, let's let's do this one. Benny Jin Kou Chu. No, Jin Chu Kou Ye Wu. Okay, so this is handle. This is, Bangong Shi Li de, ah, Shi Qing, right? Ma, Ban Li Ru Jin Shou Xiu. Yeah. Okay. So sort out the um formalities of entering, um, entering Ru Jin, entering like a country or through a border. Sorry. Ah, these things you can do. Ah, Jin Zhuo, Jin Zhuo Ban Li. Yeah, Jin Zhuo. Yeah. That's a tricky word. I know it exists. Just means thoroughly think through things, kind of thing. Um, Junjo will ban me at one as one sees fit. Really? All right. <clears throat> so I don't know. It's not say ban me. Junjo ban me. Hmm. All right. I'm a little surprised by this. I want to go to Junjo. Consider deliberate. It's a verb. Yeah, this is a HSK six word. Maybe in the new standards they will get rid of it. I don't know. It's okay. Both Jin and Zhuo are fairly rare characters, and I don't think I only ever see either of them in Jin Zhuo. Um, Jin. Jin Zhuo, Jin Man, Jin Zhuo. Oh, I didn't know this. What about Zhuo? Zhuo Qing, Zhuo Yu. <laughs> All right. Anyway, anyway, I feel like I am getting wildly off topic. <clears throat> um, Ban Li. To, it's to handle something, to sort it out, to sort something out. Yeah. Usually office work or something like that. <laughs> something related to office work. <laughs> uh, okay, Huli. Huli. Um, yeah, Huli. Huli is what a nurse does. Hu shi Huli. Huli is what a nurse does, right? Let me get this right. Huli. There's a verb for what a nurse does. Uh, oh, yeah, actually, in English, what a nurse does is nurse. <laughs> a nurse will nurse patients. Yeah, all right, there you go. <laughs> it is a word in English. Um, what does a nurse, I don't think, what does a nurse do? What is the word for what a nurse does? They nurse. Oh. <laughs> End and protect. Huli. Huli, shang bing yen. Shang bing yen. Okay, the sick and wounded. Okay, jia ting huli. Um, okay, this is home nursing. Yeah. Jin uh, xin. Jing Xin Huli, meticulous nursing. Xiao Mai Yue Dong. Oh, okay, meticulously nurse the wheat through the winter. Okay, so this is not quite nurse. Um, all right, so this is a verb. Yeah, so like, I'm going to count it as green. It's a little bit, hmm, Woody. It's a bit, a bit weak for me. 
this word. Okay, 配合医生对病人或呃老者、残疾人等啊进行啊治疗和啊照顾。Okay, so treatment and care of a range of pa patients, and you um sort of accompany a doctor. All right. Hmm. Maybe not accompany. Maybe coordinate with a doctor. Match with a doctor. Compatible. Com compatible with a doctor. Whatever. <laughs> Team up with a doctor. Okay. 保护并管理。呃，是正常生活的呃生长，生呃生活和生长。Oh, okay. So this is the medical version. What a nurse does is 护理。Um, but it can also be used for hoodie, uh, your meal, right? Um, for growing, 生活 living or growing things. Um, to cause it to normally grow or grow, <laughs> but these are different growths for different organisms. Mm. All right, how that? So I get hood. Okay, 修理修理修理 is maintain, right? <laughs> Um, usually, you maintain your car. Um, 修理 Can you 修理皮肤 Maybe you can 修理皮肤修理修理 Uh, okay. Uh, 经过加工 Okay, so do work. Uh, 使损坏的东西 In order to make broken things 能重新使用 Usable again. Okay, 修理自行车 Yeah. Okay, so it's repair, not maintain. Oh, 维修 is maintain. Yeah, 维修 is maintain. Whereas 修理 is repair. 修理机器正在修理，呃，当场修理。修理地球。What? Repair the earth. Humorous. Cultivate the land. Fine. Okay. Humorous. Apparently, this is funny. <laughs> okay, repair, fix. Let's put that down. <laughs> repair, fix. Okay, so 维修 was the one I was thinking. 维修 is maintain, right? 维修维修 is maintain. All right. Ah, 维修保养和修理 Ah,、uh, it's not just maintain; it also means repair. 维修房屋，维修汽车，汽车。All right, and what's the other one? 保养，保养 ，maintain. 你要好好保养啊、呃，身体。呃，他六十多岁了，还保养的很好。Okay, so this is more no 机器保养 ，machine maintenance, keeping good repair. 这条路保养的很好 ，All right. So this is maintained. Another <laughs> kept in good. Maybe this is maybe uh, should no. Maybe 维修 is a kind of once off. You take your mobile phone in for repairs, whereas 保养 is a a protracted situation. Like the road is continually maintained, something like that. Not a hundred percent sure. 这里 No, I don't know. Here, <laughs> I can see what I've written there. Provide for oneself. Here, I don't recall seeing that word. Here, here. Ah, okay. 自己料理自己的食物 This 料理 is like 办理 or 处理 right? Um, this 料理 is not related to food. Um. A range handle. Okay, so you resolve your own issues. A child's life is completely possible to self-care. Um, children. Life. Children's lives complete. No, no, I don't really understand. <laughs> I mean, you'd raise if if you're going to raise children as the example, then you would imply that they can't sleep, right? They can't solve their own problems. Some of the time, they can't. It's just that simple. Um. So I don't know. 
why they use this completely able to solve their own problems. No, I, I don't know. Sometimes you need an adult in the mix. Okay, uh, full dan. Okay, so this is to take on a responsibility yourself. Okay, fan fei. Zili. Okay, so you sort this out yourself, kind of thing. Uh, or she Zili. All right. All right. Lu fei Zili. Okay, so this is I will pay for the travel expenses. Shung huo neng gou Zili. Look after oneself. Yeah. Yeah, all right. Um, all right. Chuli. Chuli, Bani. Uh, they're kind of the same, but Bani is more... I don't know. Chuli. Chuli wenti. Jiejie wenti. Yeah, they have different contexts in which they use. Bani, Chuli, Jiejie. Um, oh, Dui Dan. Yeah, there's Dui Dai as well. I don't know. Um, shall we ask ChatGPT? Sorry, I'm, I have my coffee here. I don't want to spill it. All right. Sorry. Oh, oh. Uh, can you help me understand the differences between Fanny? Truly. Sorry, that. What was the other one? Yeah, yeah. There's probably others, and any others I've got. Bani. Yeah, Bani. Yeah, it's usually pertains to office work. Yeah. Okay, Ju. Uh, Ju truly. Shu wu he shou xu. Okay, procedures, right? Formalities. Shu affairs, transactions. Right? Mm. Yeah, so office, like documents, procedures. Uh, okay, okay, so, so you mm, sort out your passport. So there's some paperwork you have to do for your passport. Uh, um, some formalities you need to do. Truly, it's much broader, uh, much more broader, right? <clears throat> uh, okay, Yong Yu Ju, Dui Shu Wu, Jin Xing, Truly, Ho An Pai. Okay, so they use truly to define truly, but all right. Kanang, Bao Kuo, Jie Jue, Wen Ti, Zheng Li. Oh, that's another one, Zheng Li. Zheng Li, Tai Liao. Yeah, it, it usually means Zheng Li, Feng Jian, Dong Ma, but it's also, yeah, we, I didn't mention that before. Also, um, sort out. Yeah, uh, what is Qingni? I'm not quite sure. Tidy up. Mm. This is like clean up your room or something. Truly Wen Ti. Truly Wen Jian. These are kind of similar. Except maybe you don't ban Wen Ti. Maybe that's the difference. Dui Dai. Dui Dai Kuren. Dui Dai Wen Ti. Yeah. Okay, Dui Dai. Okay, you treat this problem with respect or something like that. right? <laughs> All right. All right, so Banni is kind of like a special case of truly. That's my impression. <laughs> Banni pertains more to paperwork and office work. <laughs> Things like sorting out your passport, you'll use Banni. Whereas truly, is there some, some random problem you sort out? <laughs> they all kind of mean a specific, uh, sorry, an unspecific method for solving a problem. <laughs> um, yeah, unspecified method for solving a problem. It's just sorted out kind of thing. Daily, daily she means. Ah, yes, she don't. Yeah, daily she get. Daily, do she ma? Ha, daily. Maybe it's, um, daily is like 
representative or agent, something like that. <laughs> yeah. Um, huh? Is it not a noun? I think it's a noun. <laughs> I'm sure it's a noun too. Okay, 暂时替人负责某项某项事务. Yeah, so so you authorize someone to do something on your behalf. Ju江,ju江职务暂时由老王代理. So Laowang is acting on the Ju江's behalf. Um,就当时当事人委托. Uh, okay, 代表当事人在授权范围内进行活动处理事务. Uh, okay, so um, you represent 当事人, like your client, or um, what would you call this? The parties? Some parties, yeah. You represent some party, some party's rights. <laughs> Uh, it, when conducting, um, I don't know, things. <laughs> okay, this one. Um, 代理厂长, 厂 is factory, 长 is uh, like the head or leader thereof. 厂长, okay. So act, acting manager of a factory. Um, 总经理病呢? Okay, the general manager is sick. Uh, 工作由他代理。so he is acting as the uh, general manager while the Zongjing is sick. Um, yeah, noun. <laughs> so, daily, <coughs> verb and noun. Yeah, he is our company's right? Or the manager can be. Is this like, no, I, I don't remember. Li Tai. Tai Shi Tai Wu Le Tai. Tai Chan De Tai. Relating to like capital, not uh, not capital, but maybe wealth. Um, Li Tai. Oh, Li Tai. Oh, yeah, I have encountered this many times. I'm not good at the finance ones, it seems. Um, financial matters. Manage financial matters. Yeah, let's write, jot that down. Manage. All right, manage financial matters. Li, Li Tai. Okay, so, Ban Li Tai Wu, the shitting. Oh, 管理,管理财务,管理财务,管理财务,负责财务工作。Alright,不善理财,so uh, not adept at financial, uh, managing financial matters. Uh, 理财顾问, um, this is a financial, 顾问 is consultant, right? Uh, 理财知道, alright, I don't know that one. <laughs> Trivial and troublesome. Mm. What a low ban yeah,你到理发店,让理发师给你理发,就是剪头发,洗头发,染头发,理发。Yeah. Mm, I don't know. I don't think it's a verb. I don't recall encountering it as a verb. It's a verb. All right. I've always encountered it as a person. What's this? Operation? Something like that. Operations and management. All right. 
经理酒店 ，OK， so to manage and operate a, a hotel， 呃，公司的财务由他经理。All right， we should also put down 管理。Did we not have our 管理？他是管人力，我管人力资源的经理。啊、uh, ，this 管，嗯 ，this 管 means in charge of right， 你不管 that kind of 管。Yeah， you don't need to manage this， right？ 副经理，呃、uh, ，like vice manager， 呃<笑>、uh, ，总经理 ，general manager。All right, that's Li. 然后下一个，嗯，杨，也杨，嗯，杨 pertains to raising, like raising children, raising pets. Um, what else? 杨花，杨草 raise flowers and grass. Right. I think that's all it means. I don't think it's some kind of elaborate metaphor. Sorry, let me just. What's going on here? 杨花 ，Yeah,、uh, nothing, nothing elaborate here. 呃，小区里家家都爱杨花 ，Yeah, <laughs> like every household likes to grow flowers. 杨花 ，Okay, so literally means raise flowers, but yeah, I think 草 is the same. I don't think there's anything. Oh no! I did that last time. It gives away my information. Push the wrong button. <laughs>、um, all right. So it's not even in the dictionary. Yang Tao. Shall we look at a photo? I don't think it's very important, but let's just look at a photo.、Uh, there you go. Yang Tao. What is Yang Tao? Uh, no, this is algae, like a grass aquarium. Why? Why am I not seeing people younging tao? Young you, yeah, young you. Young tao. This is tao ni, tao ni, three tao ni, three tao ni, young tao. Why am I not seeing like people with lawns? Yeah, you know, I'm starting to think this is not actually a word. Young Tao. It's not in the dictionary. Not in this dictionary. Like, not in this dictionary. It's not. I didn't find it. I'm tempted to think it's not actually a word, or if it is a word, it's not that important. Um, it's kind of like just two words, right? Young, raise, Tao, grass. I don't know. I'm getting rid of it. I don't think it's a word. Or at least, if it's a word, it's not important enough <laughs> for me to care about. Shall we Google it? Young Tao. Does it have a Wikipedia page?、Um, all right. It's a bit slow today. It's a bit slow every day, but.、Mm. 杨草是什么意思 ？To raise grass. Presumably, it's the same as flowers to grow grass. To tend to grasses every needs. I mean, most people in maybe maybe a lot of people in China just live in apartments. So the idea of grass is like in a park. <laughs> Whereas in Australia, yeah, a lot of people have their own grass. <laughs> All right, it's not being cooperative today. All right, I don't care. <laughs> you get.、Uh, this is not a top priority word. Yang Mao.、Mm, okay, so Yang Mao, Yang Gou, Yang Ji, Yang Yu. These are all pretty much the same, just different animals. <laughs> And you can say that with whatever animals you like.、Um, Yeah, it kind of means to raise them. Usually, adopt them as a pet as well. So, do you know the word? Is it here? No, it's not. Shou yang. Shou yang. Shou yang. Shou yang means to adopt. So, I think. 
What? C'è un momento. Why is it so unresponsive? Is it doing something in the background? I don't know. Show sure, young. Yeah. Maybe I should just go and delete everything off here and see what happens. Show sure, young. Yeah, okay. Show sure, young guar. Yeah, to adopt orphan. Uh, okay, show young the war. Adopt me. <laughs> um, show young, uh, Gwen Xi, show young, Gong Zheng. Show young, yeah, but you can also adopt a pet. Not just orphans. Show young, Gu Er, show young, show young, show young, Ye Mao, yeah, to adopt a wild cat. Show young, Hai Zi. Uh, let's let's drop down Guar. Guar. So to adopt a, an orphan, for example. So show young. I think the young here is show young. Um, so, um, so you end up with weird, uh, like a somewhat confusing grammar. So young mo, um, so you would say, uh, maybe this is not a, not even a word to keep a cat. Young mama. So, I want to show you. I don't know what this is. Maybe this is like some internet slang. But I don't know why today the internet's like, nah, not not gonna be happy. But we still got ChatGPT right. Um, can you give me examples of young used when adopting animals slash pets? Okay, woman jeting young ijie liu lang mao. So we decided to adopt young ijie liu lang mao, a stray cat. Uh, this one. Oh, ling yang. Oh, there's also ling yang. All right, let's jot that down. Ling yang le ijie xiao go xiao go. Yeah, so what, uh, the point I want to make. Is you'll often see sentences. What, what can I say? Uh, you'll often see sentences with yang le, yang le, eg, go, go, yang eg go, like this. This is a typical one. Then she says, "I wa yang eg go he eg mao." Yeah. Uh, young Iji Go, uh, no, Ija Siko, Young Le Iji Go. Um, so, yeah, the Le is a bit confusing, I think. The Le. Is this my question? What is the function of that looks like my writing? No, maybe that's not my writing. What's your whole Young Le Iji Go Go? Yeah, so this young, I think, means adopt rather than raise. The lu means that the adoption has completed. So maybe it's lin yang or shou yang. What about ba yang le yi ji gou? Yeah, yi jia si kou yang le yi ji gou. Yang le yi ji gou. All right, so maybe, maybe chat GPT's one here. Lin yang. Lin yang. Is better again. Ling yang, ling yang le yi jie xiao go. <clears throat> so let's have a look at that on Pleco. Maybe maybe chat GPT has found a better uh, word. <clears throat> ling yang, like it's clearer. 
So if you say yum le it does it mean it's completed? You've you've used the completion le yeah ling yang guar ling yang lu di ling yang hai zi hmm ling yang lao jin ling yang guar ling yang hai zi this feels more like adopting in the sense of a person. So is the other one. So ChatGPT put the Ling Yang Li Jigo. So let's just drop that down. So Shoyang. So can you see Shoyang? Lin Yang. Lin Yang Le. Yeah. So the Le refer refers to the end of the adoption process. It doesn't mean you no longer have a dog, right? It's confusing when people say, uh, or young, the goal. You think, okay, but I'm still doing it, right? It's not finished, um, and you use the completion law, so that can be very confusing. I think. Um, I think this is what people mean, show young or linear, when they say something like that. It's not, um, yeah, the law doesn't imply. Uh, it doesn't imply that you're no longer, mm, like, looking after your dog. Uh, dog, you're no longer raising your dog. It's a it's an ongoing process. Hmm. So uh, Yang Mao, Yang Go, Yang Ji, Yang Yu. Do they have other ones? Just those. Um, yeah. They're all pretty much the same. Why uh Yang Le Iju Mao? I adopted a cat. Why Yang Le Iju Go? I adopted a dog. Why Yang Le Iju Ji? I adopted a chicken. Why Yang Le Iju Yu? You tell you, <laughs> you tell you. I adopted a fish. <laughs> All right. Young you. Young you is one of these upbringings that, um, yeah, it's one of these upbringing words in Chinese that are very hard to understand for me. Young you, didn't you? You, you upbring children. <laughs> you upbring. You of children upbring. Young you. No, we'll push a young, you, young. Uh, actually, let's go back to that. Breed fish. Oh, uh, yeah, actually, that's another one. It's not just, it can also mean breed fish. I forgot about that. I think mostly. Kind of, okay, Dan Shui, young, you. Dao Kowei. Hmm. Young, you, young, you. Yang Yu Shui Hmm. So the other ones, Yang Go, Yang Mao, you won't think of breeding dogs and breeding cats. Yang Ji, Yang Yu, Yang. Yang Ji, raise chickens. Yang Ji Chang, Yang Ji. Hmm. So yeah, I guess with chickens and fish, it could also mean breeding them. All right, uh, Yang Yu. Yang Yu. Fu Yang he jiao yu. Okay, Fu Yang is to support, something like financially, I think. Fu Yang, foster. He jiao yu. So it's not just money, it's housing, clothing, etc. All right, so bring up children. Yang Yu. One night, night, young you le, uga heights. All right, uh, ta shen shen, hai li en ji, a young you go to see the go to go to. All right, young you go to see the good. So, the place he was brought up in, all right, yeah, okay, so to bring up, I guess. Uh, this is si yang. Si yang is used for livestock generally. Si yang. Maybe we'll look at photos. 
we will see people siyang in their livestock. Siyang. Siyang. Ah, siyang xiong mao. All right. This is to siyang. It's like to feed or something. Um, siyang. To raise, to rear. Ah, okay. So not necessarily livestock. Siyang chong. Really? Ray I didn't realize it could be used with pets. No, Oh, it's a lion? Jiang Shi Shi Zi. So a house raised lion. Alright. Xi Chi Dama. Uh Ye Shung Domu Ju uh Bawi blah blah blah. Uh Dino. Uh no Herma Herma Siyang 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 Kong Chi Kong Chi the Siyang Guan Ni Yu uh Ji Shu. Not sure if I'd be a big fan of raising a peacock. Uh just a yeju, Alright, for humans use uh, for humans. <laughs> this is to wait upon, right? I get those confused. and Right? Um, all right. 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 Um, um, we are. I'm guessing it's something like <clears throat> feed. Um, maybe it's more of a long term type of feeding. We are. Ah. Oh, it's not duck. This is not a duck. This is a baby. <laughs> this is an infant. <laughs> um, oh, this is Muru We Muru. Muru We Breastfeed. All right, more away to Jan. A child domestic animal to keep to raise. All right, more away All right. Um, it seems <clears throat> way young is mostly breastfeeding. Do you reckon, what if we put dong? Mostly in relation to humans. Wei yang dong, wei yang chang jing lu, wei yang wu gui, wei yang gou, wei yang niao. Wei yang dong, wei yang niao. Zhe shi mu niao, wei yang xiao niao. Wei yang xiao mao, wei yang xiao shan yang. Mm, all right, so it can be used more generally, not just for breastfeeding. <clears throat> but maybe maybe breastfeeding is kind of the most common example. Muru <clears throat> is, is a good example. All right. Fang uh, yang, 
<laughs> yeah, feng, uh, I put it here, feng yang di, feng yang is free range, right? Feng, jie feng, right? Liberate, <laughs> jie feng. Um, feng is like to put somewhere. Presumably it's to put in like a field to, and they can feed themselves. <laughs> Maybe we'll just look at images. Feng yang, I'm expecting like free range chickens. Feng yang. Mm. Feng yang, yeah. Free range chickens, feng yang. Um, just a feng yang di, Emma. Feng yang, free range or something like that. In an open environment. Okay, so it's a verb. It's a verb meaning free range. So you feng yang chickens. Zhiran feng yang. You, these are free range cattle or sheep. I can't tell. Uh, okay, tu di. Ah, oh, free range chicken. Tu di. I didn't know this word. Tu di. Feng yang xiong. Okay, this is feng yang. Feng yang di di dan. Ah, uh, free range eggs. Feng yang di dan. Di dan. Free range eggs. Feng yang di dan. Free range eggs. Um, what's the opposite of feng yang di dan? Long. Long yang. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, let's guess. Long yang. <laughs> Um, what did they use? Fei long yang ji. Oh, maybe long yang was correct. Yeah. She must have fei long yang ji dan. Okay, non cage eggs. So it's not saying free range eggs, it's saying non cage eggs. All right. I, I feel like I guessed it correctly. <laughs> Bang yang. Yeah. All right, free range. That makes sense. I feel like I should know that word. Feng yang. Probably, like when you go to the supermarket, you need to know feng yang di dan, and maybe it's uh, long yang di dan. Um, okay, feng yang da xiong mao. Uh, here it means re rehabituate. Re yeah, rehabituate. So, Fang Yang. Yang. Breed in a specific place such culture. Fang Yang Hai Dan. Okay. Shui Kuli. Fang Yang Le Shudo Shudo Jong Yu. Fang Yang Da Xiong Ma. Release wild animals into a limited wild environment. All right. All right. Fang yang. All right. Next. Ji. Ji usually means worry or impatient or something like that. Ji uh, tie. Ji tie is eager. It doesn't carry negative connotations. It's like eager to do something. Ji tie. Enthusiastic. Yeah. Ji tie. Ji mang. Extremely busy, right? Ji mang. Ji jin. Ji jin is. Emergency? Ji Jin. Ji Jin. Maybe I'm getting my tones wrong here. Ji Jin. Ji Jin. Ji Jin. Emergency. Ji Jin. Let's look at a photo of Ji Jin on Google image search. Because it's very likely we'll see a lot of hospitals. Ji Jin. Ji Jin. Yeah, you can see the characters here. D Jen. Fan Ti Zi Jen. D Jen. Um all right. D Jen. Emergency. D Jen. D Bing. Ah oh, yeah, D Bing. Acute disease. It's not man xing bing. It's D Bing. Is that right? D Bing. No, it's not that D. <laughs> D. I don't know. If you say D Bing, everyone's going to think you mean the other D Bing, the much more common D Bing. C D Bing. Yeah, because it's pronounced the same, right? D Bing. <clears throat> this one. This is very, very common. This word. Very, very common. So I think, I think if you say this, people are going to hear that. 
Hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's an issue, isn't it? If you want to speak clear, clearly and have people understand you. <clears throat> What's the opposite of man xin ping? It is man xin ping, right? Chronic illness, chronic disease. Ji xin ping. Yeah, I think this is better. If you say ji ping, people are going to think, yeah. I'm going to I'm going to argue that this is a better choice of words because <clears throat> you have man xin ping. And Di Xing Bing. Acute illness. Yeah. That makes better more sense to me, right? Man Xing Bing. Oh, this is Di Xing Bing. Um Alright, maybe I shouldn't search this one, but what happened? Oh, that's their clothes. That's not their arm. Di <laughs> Xing Bing. I need to know what's an emergency and what's not. Alright. Yeah, I am going to argue that that's a better choice of word. I'm going to argue that that is clearer than Yibing, um, because Yibing is actually another word, right? Quite a common word. Now, uh, let me get this right. Uh, man. Yeah, so is kind of acute, not necessarily an emergency, right? Yeah, maybe I said the wrong thing. Not necessarily an emergency. It's a maybe short, short time period, but usually to a higher extent, greater extent. Whereas Bing is more of a prolonged, um, prolonged illness. Hmm, I don't know. Maybe let's ask ChatGPT, see if I got the definitions right. Because maybe there's some technicality. What's the difference between Ji Xing Bing and Man Xing Bing? Uh, okay, Ji Xing Bing. Tong Chang Ju, Fa Bing, Ji Ju. So acute, rapid, rapid. Zhongzhuang, xun su, chu xian. Yeah, the symptoms appear suddenly. Bing, uh, no, bing cheng, jiao duan, zan de ji bing. Yeah, that's the problem. This is the other one, ji bing. There's, if, you, if you have ji bing with this ji, then it's, no one's going to understand. Zhe xie ji bing ke nang zai duan shi jian nei, biao xian chu ming xian de zhuang tai. All right, so gan mao fa shi, uh, fa ru, uh, ji xing uh, gan, gan All right, and man, man qing bing is the opposite, right? It's fairly slow. So neither say, no, neither says um, which one is more severe. It's just the symptoms come on quickly or slowly. Li ru, tang niao bing. Yeah, tang niao bing. It's kind of... It's the kind of thing you have your whole life or for a prolonged period of time. Gao xue ya, high blood pressure. Man xing zu se, zu se xing fei bing. All right, so like a prolonged clogged lung <laughs> or something like that. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh. I just have a habit of laughing when I get confused. Um, all right. Um, ji jiu, ji jiu, first aid, ji jiu, ji jiu, um, yeah, there's wan jiu and cheng jiu and jiu, um, ji jiu, let's go on here, ji jiu, ji jiu, to give emergency first aid, it's, it's a, it's a noun and a verb, right? So this is how you give first aid. Zhong zheng shen me jiao yi jiao, right? Ma, zhong zheng yi jiao jian dan. Ji jiu, this is the word we're studying. Ji jiu bu zhou, si bu zhou. Okay, so this is what happens if 
there's some kind of a medical emergency. <laughs> okay, uh, Xian Cheng, um, 还好吗? So you ask them to respond. Uh, okay, so you ask them to respond and you check if they have a pulse. Um, so you call them, you call 119. is hospital, right? 叫119. Uh, this is probably in like Taiwan or something. No, <laughs> I don't know. Um, shouji, uh, shouji, uh, huan, ju, ju huan, uh, na, AED. This is this thing on the wall. I'm not sure. Actually, maybe I should know this, these phone numbers. I don't know that character. Um, uh, this is like chest compressions. And then, this is like zap the <laughs> Yes. All right. Mm, yeah, don't ask me what to do. I, I would have no idea what to do. So, so this is first aid and to administer first aid. So it's a noun and a verb. Verb. First aid, yeah, I think it's a verb and a noun. Um, okay, 抓紧在后急救 Oh, well, let's read the definition. Okay, uh, 紧, uh, 紧急医疗救护 All right, so it's like emergency medical saving? <laughs> I don't know, rescue, emergency medical rescue. All right, next, 急事 well, it's like urgent matter, right? Tishi. Um, yeah, are we going to depot? Yeah, I think Tishi is depot. Yeah, I they don't put depot. Let's add depot. That's definitely worth learning. Depot. Mm, depot. Rahona. Um, Tishu. Okay. Shu shi shu tio shu yao, do ma. Tishu urgent. So urgent need. Tishu. Maybe this is like after a. Call in the shorty. <laughs> maybe this is like after you drop your phone and it needs tissue. No, maybe not. Maybe it's after like an earthquake or something. Um, tissue. There's urgent need. Um, poor Yeah, urgent need. Yeah. Okay. Urgently needed. Yeah. All right. I mean, I don't re remember studying this word before, but it's, you just take a look at it. Two characters, D, uh, urgent, shu, um, need. You're kind of like, oh, all right. I don't know that one. Maybe I'll color this one and this one in green. I mean, urgent use, something like that. You just look at the characters and know what that means, right? Urgent, urgently, urgent need. So it's just Jishu. <laughs> yeah, it's urgently needed. All right. Honestly, I don't think that's a critical word to learn. Next. Yeah, this one's important. Jiaoji, to be worried. Um, Jiaoji, hmm. Jiaoji, Jiaoji. <laughs> worried, excited, anxious. Okay, me and Dui, uh, oh boy, Jiaoji. Uh, me and Dui, uh, 紧, 紧急情况. Um, 焦躁不安. Okay, 焦躁不安. 不安 is unsettled. 焦, 
Zhao. Zhao Zhao is like, like restless, maybe something in that ballpark. Fretful. Yeah, okay, fretful. <laughs> in impatient, maybe. You're just unable to not worry, right? Ye Zhao Zi. Ye Zhao Zi. Maybe you've studied that many times. It's it comes up in everyday life all the time. That word. Okay, jinji. Um, jinji. Jinji is just like pressing or urgent. Like um, for example, a pressing matter. Jinji. Jinji. Yeah. There you go. Pressing, urgent, critical. Um, jinji chu ko. Oh yeah, emergency exit. I forgot about that one. <laughs> Emergency procedures. Okay, so issue an urgent. This is appeal. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, all right. And okay, that'll. Where are we? Right. Next page. There's nothing, nothing else left. I think that's it. All right, Liu Lang. Um, Liu Lang. Okay, to roam about, lead, lead, a, lead a vagrant life. But most of the time when you get Liu Lang, you'll, it'll be used in one of two words. Um, one or one of two families of words. All right, Liu Lang Han. Liu Lang Han. This one, Liu Lang Han. Kind of like a, like a, um, this sort of thing. They go around causing trouble, Liu Lang Han. They've got nothing better to do, Liu Lang Han. Dian Zhu Ren Chu Ta Shi Dang Di De Yiga Liu Lang Han. Yeah. Troublemakers, Liu Lang Han. And the other one is Liu Lang, for example, Mao, Liu Lang Mao, Liu Lang Go. Liu Lang, ti ta de dong. Liu Lang, yeah, stray. Um, Liu Lang, jie tou. Dao chu Liu Lang. Ah, yeah, I've encountered that one. Uh, cheng shi Liu Lang, wo ti tao. Ah, ti tao ren yan. Ah, okay. This is um beggars, right? Qi gai, qi gai de qi. Ti tao. Yeah. Liu Lang. Yes, it carries negative connotations. Um, yeah, Liu Lang Han is always negative. Um, Liu Lang Go. It's kind of like stray dog, right? It's not, I mean, it doesn't have a good upbringing. It might, may be dangerous, kind of thing. Liu Lang. All right, functions as a verb. What have I written here? Liu Lang Jie Tou. Yeah, this is like hang around at this. At, at the end of the road, something like that. Yeah, this is like roam about from place to place. All right, next, Lin. Um, okay, this Lin. Yeah, to pour, to drench. There, Lin Shi. This is the usual one. There it is, Lin Shi. Uh, okay, this Rang doesn't mean let. The rain do something. It means bei. Ta bei yu lin shi la. Yeah. So sometimes ram means bei, and that's one example. <clears throat> um, gei, uh, gei hua lin di er shui. Um, yeah. So this is jiao shui de lin jiao shui. Lin. Ah, yi fu bei. Ah, bei yu lin la. Okay, is wetted by the rain. <laughs> Wet by the rain was wetted. It was wetted. I remember in high school chemistry, the teacher used the word wetted. And ever since, I've been using the word wetted. <laughs> um, it is actually a word. It's just very rarely used. And I just think it's funny to use the word wetted. Oh, that's so wetted. <laughs> um, uh, where are we? Ta mei tian li nu liang zi li nu. Yeah, actually, let's drop that down. Li nu. Li nu is to take a shower. Maybe you would say xi zao, but li nu. Li nu. Um, oh, it is also a shower as well, right? So it's ah xi li nu. Zai pen tou xia, rang shui chong zhi xi zao. Yeah, ta zheng zai li nu. 
Okay, so two meanings. One is the shower, the actual place where you take a shower. Um, the second meaning is a verb to take a shower. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, 洗澡. 洗澡 is more general. 洗澡 includes having a bath, right? Yeah, I think mostly, like when you're an adult, you li have linu, you have showers. Whereas when you're a kid, you have baths and baths seem to confuse, uh, consume a lot of water. So lin. Um, oh, there's a few suffixes you need to know for lin. Lin. Um, I don't know this one. <laughs> lin shu? Yeah. Uh, I don't know that one. Um, lin. What is lin? I don't know this one. This is a lymph. All right. I, I don't know that word. It sounds medical. Uh, lin shu, lin. Lin. Uh, to. Lin to. Yeah, that's another one. Lin to. Soaked by rain. Okay, yu shui jiang wo lin to le. Oh, this jiang is not related to the future. This jiang is ba, right? Jiang can also mean ba. <laughs> this ba wo lin to le. The rain, the rainwater soaked me. Yeah. Um. There's also like lin cheng luo cheng ji. Luo cheng ji. Luo, no, luo tang ji. Luo tang ji. Luo tang ji. Yeah, cheng de luo tang ji. I'll have an example, I guess. There. <coughs> lin de, uh, luo cheng ji si de. Yeah, so, so, soaked to the point I'm a drowned chicken. <laughs> luo tang ji. Um, xiang luo tang ji, xiang ji luo tang ji. Yeah. Um, it's probably a few others still. <laughs> anyway, it's you, yeah, lin. Yeah, to drench or yeah. So yu shui lin zhu wo. Wo bei yu shui lin tou le. All right, next bai fang. Um, bai fang to pay a visit to call on. Um, Okay, so this means you're going to their place, right? Bai fang. You're going to visit them. Bai fang. Usually it's a relative or a friend or something like that. Bai fang. Um, okay, kan wang, yeah. Jing zi. What is jing zi? Oh, it's, it's, this is not the definition of the word. Dong men bai fang. Okay, bai fang qin yong. So visit one's friends and relatives. Shunbian bai fang. So shunbian is like along the way. So you're going somewhere and along the way it's like, oh, I might as well pop in. Yeah, don't ever do that. <laughs> Nobody likes it. Um, Zhongshi bai fang. Um, yeah, a formal visit. Zhongcheng bai fang. Making a purpose trip, like a special trip to visit someone. Jinxing yin yi lian chuan de bai fang. So conduct a whole round of visits. Yeah, um, yeah, it's a verb, means to visit. You've probably seen feng wen. So it's the same feng. Feng wen. Feng wen. Feng wen is more, um, feng wen qin. Yeah, it's more formal, I think. It's, so for example, when you arrive in China, You'll fill in the card and it will say, what is your purpose? Maybe we can actually search it online. The arrival card for China. Arrival card. You need to fill it in. Yeah, this one. Uh, all right. And it will say Feng Wen. Um, and the English will say, I've done this a few times. <laughs> the English says visit, where the Chinese says feng wen, this one. Yeah. Feng wen. Like feng wen, it's like an official visit. It's like visit. It's like, how can you go to China without visiting? <laughs> like, it, it, 
yeah, the English doesn't make much sense. Where the Chinese is like an official visit, right? Kind of like you're a diplomat or something like that. Um, or you're you're visiting someone for an official reason. Um, yeah, guan guang xiu xian. Oh, okay, what do you got? Kui yi, shang wu. Yeah, conference business, that's right. Fang wen is... The English is very vague. Like, this is what you tick. You basically always tick that one. Guan uh, guang, sightseeing, xiu xian, leisure. Yeah. Tan uh, qin... Feng Yu. Is this a Cheng Yu? <laughs> yeah, visiting friends or relatives. Okay, I don't remember this one. Yeah, Tan. Yeah, okay, your uh, Tan Wang. We'll look at that one in a second. Uh, it's the Feng. It's the same Feng here, and it's the same Feng as Bai Feng. So, Qin Yu. So, in a handful of words, in in a few words in Chinese, you in Tan Feng in this one. You interlace two words. Like you've got two character word here, two character word here, and you kind of interlace them to make um, a four character word. Yu <laughs> ye, employment, xie uh, study. Um, okay, fan uh, hui chang zhu di, return home. Oh, maybe I'll take that one in the future. Do I still have to do this? I think I still have to do this. Ding ju qi ta, yeah, maybe I'll take this one. Because <laughs> I live in China, so maybe fan hui chang zhu di, return home. It's a little bit different, but yeah. Uh, okay. Tan qin feng you. Tan qin feng you. Tan. Um, all right. So this is what you have to fill in when you arrive in China. This is the form. Um, yeah, you tend to fill in both, but you submit one. Which one? You su submit this one when you arrive. And you're meant to fill this one in in advance, but you can do it as you leave as well. Yeah. All right. Um, so. Oh, we're looking at to visit. Um, you visit different people. Um, tan Wang. This one, Tan Wang. Wei Guo Tan Wang Tinyo. Yeah. Tan Wang. And there's also Kan Wang. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> there's a lot, isn't there? Um Tan Wang. I guess you can also Tian <laughs> Nian. Um So let's go to Chajiki. What's the can you help me differentiate? Tan Wang, Tan Wang, Bai Wang, Wang Wen, and any other common synonyms? S Y N O N Y M S, please. Tan Wang, uh, okay. Tan Wang, Lao Shi, Tan Wang, Bing Ren. Oh, okay, so this is. I don't know. Uh, tong, uh, tong ju, tan wang, tin yo he bing ren. Okay, friends and sick people. And presumably the teacher is your friend. A biao da, guan xin he guan ai de qing gan. Okay, so you're concerned about your um, teacher or sick people, some sick person, you know. Uh, yeah, yong yu. Uh, okay, we're looking at Tan Wang. Tan Wang. Uh, yeah, Yong Yu. Uh, tan Feng. Yeah, it's another one again, isn't it? Tan Feng. Xin Yu. Dan Geng Chang Diao. Dui. Tamen de Guan Xie. He Hao Qi. Guan Xie. Dui. Tamen de Guan Xie. Hao Qi. Curious or worried about your friends? Um, okay, Tong Chang Yong Yi Pong Yo Chin Chi Jujenda Fang Wen Fang Wen. Li Ru. Okay, Tan Wang Pong Yo Tan Wang Chin Chi. Okay, so this one's better for friends and family. But this one's also friends and family. Oh, Tan Wang is because you're concerned about them. Bai Fang. Chang Diao Jung Shi de Fang Wen Mo Ren. Oh. So this is formal? Alright. Um, 
，例如拜访客呃客户。Okay, so an official visit visit to the client. 拜访教授 ，visit the professor. All right, 访问。Uh, 更正式的表示拜访。Okay, so this is formal. This is formal, uh, even formaler again. I think this is the one you would use if you said,、mm, "I'm going to London to visit the Queen." Uh, 通常用于呃、uh, 专业或正式的场合，场合，啊、uh, ，如学术交流、考察等。例如，啊、uh, ，访问学者，访问公司。All right. How would you say I'm going to London to visit the Queen in Chinese? Uh, 他用拜访。啊，我要去伦敦拜访女王。All right. Yeah, I have these preferences set. Um, so it doesn't give me opinion. I have. I don't need pinion. All right. So, Dongju. I guess there's a whole bunch of words like this that are quite similar,、um, and I don't really know the difference that well.、Um, it's probably not that important. Bai Feng. Bai Feng is one of them,、uh, among many others. Some combination of Bai Tan, Tan, Feng. These these words together、um, probably mean this,、um, and the more formal words are fun and yeah, fun ones a bit a bit more formal, I think. Anyway, uh, 拜访亲友，顺便拜访 yeah, yeah. Okay, next is a 成语，呃，成语，见多识广，君多识广 It experienced and knowledgeable. Yeah. So 见，呃，见是什么？见。Jian refers to what you have seen or what the, some person has seen. Duo, they've seen a lot. Duo is a lot, right? Xu, Xu pertains to their knowledge.、Uh, Guang, Guang means wide. So they've seen a lot and their knowledge is wide. Jian Duo Xu Guang usually describes like a professor or something like that. Ta Xu Guo Xu Duo Di Fang Jian Duo Xu Guang. Okay, so this person has been to a lot of places. Yeah. So is Jian Duo Shi Guan. Okay, who can be described? As, it always is a person. I think it can't be a non-person. Yeah, actually, let's ask. Can Jian Duo Shi Guan, Jian Duo Shi Guan, Jian Duo? Now, wait a minute. Shi. One. Okay, what can describe? What can Jian Duo Shi Guan describe? Jian Duo Shi Guan. So it's always a person. Yeah, I think it's always a person. Yeah, usually I don't know, like cats. Like animals will not have specific knowledge. Cats probably won't gain knowledge through、um, traveling broadly. All right. So, can you give me ten examples of people who would be regarded as tendoshi?、Uh, both real. World people and their roles. Um, this is all in English, but um, 旅游记者对吗？旅游记者，嗯，就是联合国大使，您是什么 ？I don't know how to say anthropologist in Chinese. It hasn't come up. In Chinese. Uh, okay, 旅行记者，联合国呃、uh, 外交官。Oh, I should use that one. 外交官 I'm going to jot that down because I've been using 大使 and it I don't know 大使 for some reason 
If I say that to Chinese people, they don't hear it correctly, even though it's kind of technically correct. So let's use Wai Jiao Guan. Wai Jiao Guan. I'll jot that down. I'll use that word in the future. Wai Jiao Guan. That's probably easier to hear correctly. Wai Jiao Guan. Um, okay, Ren Nei Xie Jia. Anthropologist. So mankind studies studier. <laughs> mankind study expert. Um, could you give me name some famous people who uh, who would be considered? Okay, who does ChatGPT think is experienced and knowledgeable? <clears throat> Anthony Bourdain. Um, all right, I, I don't know much about him. <laughs> Malala Yus, how do you say Yusuf Asai? Yusuf Asai <clears throat> from Afghanistan. Uh, no, from Pakistan. No, maybe North Pakistan. Uh, Malala uh, you. Uh, Elon Musk, all right. Elon Musk, Jane Goodall, Goodall. Oh yeah, I've heard about her. Studying chimpanzees. Is it chimpanzees or gorillas? I don't remember. Uh, okay. Pan Pan Jiwen, Pan Jiwen. All right, he's the lead head of. The UN, right? Something like that. Oh, former here. Yo yo, ma yo yo, ma yo yo. French, Chinese, American cellist plays a, uh, the cello, right? Cellist. It's pronounced cellist, is it? Angela Merkel. Yeah, of course. Ang uh, Angola Morkar. I don't know who that is. Ken. Richard Branson, uh, all right. So these people have seen a lot and therefore are knowledgeable in a broad range of things because they've seen a lot. All right, it's an adjective, it describes people. Yeah, um, actually let's just pay a little bit of attention to the grammar. When you study uh, Chongyi, you should pay attention to grammar. Jindoshu. Uh, so there's no hen. Yeah, so this is how it is. It's like person, um, chung. Ta jindo shugon. Ta jindo shugon. Yeah. So it seems like you don't add a hen. Yeah, I'll just go ask ChatGPT. So usually you say ha and a jindo shukwan rather than yeah. So we don't use the hen. I don't know why. <laughs> Maybe it's already imbued in the chungyu. Yeah, all right. Next, Xiao Yang. Uh, yeah, we, we looked at what did we, what did we look at? Uh, we looked at Yang Yu, Xiao Yang. <laughs> kind of similar, right? Um, breeding education culture, Xiao Yang. Mm, Yang Yu. Oh no, Yang Yu is to bring up children, whereas Xiao Yang is more about their, their instilling them with a sense of culture, <laughs> this sort of thing. <laughs> Okay, so that's a noun. So someone with a sense of culture. Someone who's cultured, educated. Reading. Maybe. So the children in his family have uh, been brought up well, have a sense of culture and are educated. Uh, okay, so this is like 家庭教养. This is kind of like 
being brought up at home. Maybe it's homeschooling. Oh, my back is itchy. Oh, so satisfying. Jiao Yang, Jiao Yang, Jiao Yang. Okay, Jiao Yu Fu Yang. Oh, so there's two meanings. This one's in the noun. Yo Jiao Yang, Chue Fa Jiao Yang. So has has a, a cultural background, lacks a cultural background. Maybe you would describe someone who's like boorish as lacking lacking a cultural background. Okay, Jiao Yang Yi Gu. Uh, so this is, so breeding in this sense, train edge kit. So it is a verb as well. Uh, all right. Jiao yang zi nu. Jiren mei o mei yi di er jiao yang. Ill bred. <laughs> um, I don't think it literally talks about breeding, no. It's just a way of phrasing it. Um, we saw that one. Woman saw Ren Shida Yiga, Alright. It's kind of an incomplete sentence, right? Yi Wei Yo Jiao Yang de He Ai Ke Qin de Zheng Pai Nan Shi. Alright. Alright, so the person has uh, a good upbringing, um, but they, they walk the wrong path. They walk a degenerative path, degenerate path. What is borstal? Fan, Jiao Yang Nguyen. I don't know. Maybe I don't want to know what that means. Ajidao so yo gu yuan de ming zi shi liang hao jiao yang de yi zhong ti xian. Okay, so knowing all the names of your employees uh, is, an, uh, <laughs> is a manifestation of a good upbringing. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Yeah, all right. So I think noun is most common. Um, yeah, I would say upbringing. It's like <laughs> up, like you have a good upbringing, this sort of thing. Um, breeding is a bit weird, I think. Education is jiao yu, a bit different. Culture, yeah. When you talk about upbringing, you're talking about being cultured, um, just knowing what to do, having being well mannered, this sort of thing. Okay. Next, lando. Um, yeah, so lando is an adjective meaning lazy. Um, but usually you don't get the full word in the wild. You usually encounter lan, tahan lan. <laughs> um, is your dao working? I haven't had much luck with your dao today. Hmm. Lando. Yeah, I don't often encounter the full word in my experience. I watch Hung In, what uh, Lando. I am congenitally, no, I am naturally lazy. Gen is that the right word? I don't know, it could be. Maybe it has that meaning. Lando. Um, um, just purely, so like completely laziness. All right, but usually I just encounter things like Han, Han Lan, Han Lan, Han Lan. Ta Gu Ran Tong Ming, Dan Ye Han Lan. So this is the usual one I encounter. Lazy. Um, the other one you need to know is Shui Jiao, Shui Lan, Shui Lan Jiao. You like Shui Lan Jiao, ma? Jiao. Uh, all right, it means sleeping. There you go, sleeping. Shui Lan Jiao, sleeping. This is Lan Duo de Lan Duma. Shui Lan Jiao. All right. So Lan Duo, Lan Duo is an adjective. I don't often see the two characters 
the two character version usually is just land. Land door. Oh, uh, okay, the opposite, Qin Lao. Industrious. Yeah, there's a story like the industrious mouse and the lazy mouse. Sorry. <laughs> Non-industrious, non-diligent. Okay, Alright, so this disease is arises from laziness and an unhealthy lifestyle. Take things as they are. So, the door, this character door, I think only appears in this word. Oh, yeah, no, door li. Um, no, door xin. Where's door xin? This one, door xin, yeah, inertia. Hmm. I'm just realizing there is a connection between the English words inert and inertia. Um, all right, 多性. Yeah, 多性 comes up actually in chemistry. 多性气体, inert gas. But inertia? Mm, okay, 消极, 消极, uh, 落后, 而又不思, I think this is like laziness or inertness or apathy, maybe a better one. It's a noun, this one. Yao Xiang Jin Bu. So you need to overcome your apathy in order to make progress. And Duo Xing Titi, this one, inert gas. I have encountered those. Duo um, Xing. Yeah, that's the first one. Why did it? Why did it hit? Why is it here too? Oh, all right. So this is the first list. Words beginning. This is the second list. So there's really not mm, not many words you, you involving this character. Landor is the most common. Landor, Duo Xing. I don't know these other ones. <laughs> um and Lan. Um. There's an animal called a sloth, right? <laughs> what do you call a sloth in Chinese? Land or land it? <laughs> yeah, so, so you can say land a bu xiang qi chuang, something like that. <laughs> land a xiong hua. Like, no, land a xiong hua. I am so, uh, so lazy I cannot speak, right? This doesn't mean speak lazily, it means too lazy to speak. Tian tai ru, what land a chu chu? I don't want to go out because I'm so lazy. Doesn't really mean lazy. I'm not feeling like it. Yeah. Disinclined to. I am disinclined to acquiesce to your request. Lethargic. Yeah, I don't feel like arguing. I'm with him. Yeah, not in the mood to eat because she's sick. Yeah, actually, that's an important one. Lando. Um, Lansan. Oh, I have encountered that. What is it? I forget now. Oh, sluggish. Yeah, Lansan. <laughs> Lanhan. Just a Lando de Nansen. Okay, Lanhan. Han, used as a suffix, usually implies like a lad or something like that. Um, Lanyo. Oh, Lanyo. Um, oh, Lanyo, Jigaba. Lanyo, maybe maybe a cat would lanyo. All right, so that one's not my fault. Yo, yeah, <laughs> cat. The, the thing a cat would do, lanyo, shunga lanyo. Shunga 
parent. So stretch. What else is there? Lan. Um, Lanren. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Lanren means lazy person. Do you know there's like an app? Lanren. Lanren Yud or something like that. Let's see if we can find it. Um, we'll Google it. Lan. Lanren. Oh, Lanren Kan Shu. Something like that. Lanren Kan Shu. Lanren. Oh, Lanren Ting Shu. Yeah, I've used this app. Lanren Ting Shu. Lazy person listens to a book. Right? So you can use this app um, and listen to web novel, uh, like uh, audio novels, right? So you can listen to novels because you're lazy, because you're a Lanren. <laughs> Lanren Ting Shu. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, it's not bad. You can. Uh, I've used that app before. All right. Lanren, lazy person. But it, yeah, in Lanren Ting Shu, Lanren Ting Shu, it's used kind of as a joke, right? Lan Chong. Yeah, this Chong means insect, but it doesn't really mean insect. Like lazy bones. Yeah, lazy bones doesn't literally mean bones. Lan Chong. You can call someone a Lan Chong. Oh, this is a child. Lan Chong. Lan Jiao. Oh, Lan Jiao. Shui Lan Jiao. Shui Lan Jiao. Get up late, sleep in. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to get up. Yeah. So, Lan and Door. Lan, lazy, door, and nerd. Right? Lan, door. I mean, yeah, I don't often. What is this? Lan, San. Ah, oh, Lan, San. <laughs> yeah. I, okay. Hanlan. Oh, like I usually encounter Hanlan. Lan door sounds a bit formal because it's longer. It's like just say Hanlan. Chan. Yeah. Um. Not necessarily greedy. Greedy in with re uh, with respect to food. I think Chan. Chan zui. Chan. Uh. Chan zui ba. Yeah. Chan zui. Greedy. Greedy with respect to food. Yeah. Also means like munchies. You've got the munchies. <laughs> uh, uh, so it means yeah. Yeah, I guess it does mean that. Greedy in the greedy with respect to food. It's not greedy with respect to money. Chan. Chan. Yeah, okay, bien no Ah uh, yeah, well, that's the one we just looked at. Um okay, Jimma Do Hao Chila Jin Chan Ren. Oh okay, so this is um Chan Ren. Make someone um like have the munchies. We hunger for. Oh okay, so this one, this one. Um Zui Chan. Yeah, usually you say Chan Zui. What need the man so hides at a chanzui? How can you satisfy the hungry mouth of a child? Chanda do koshe. Yeah. Can Jian Bieren a da ma jiang? Ta jiu chanda a shou fa yang. Shou fa yang. Chanda shou fa yang. All right, so seeing someone else playing ma jiang. He mm, what like jonesing to play mahjong. Okay, so it seems like it can be used with mm, non-food related cravings, but maybe metaphorically. Um, it's also an adjective as well, right? Yeah, a uh, chandel, chandelhua. Okay, 看到, uh, 看到好衣服, oh, Okay, so it's 看到喜爱的事物. Uh, okay, Yan Yan Chan. Hungry Eyes. There's a song in English called Hungry Eyes. One look at you and I can't decide. No, despite decide. But you're mine tonight. Do do now I've got you in my eyes. No, in my no, got you in my sight with these two, two hungry eyes. 
So this is Yan Chan, right? No, Chan Yan. What was it? Chan Yan. Yan Chan. No, this is different, isn't it? This is Covet. Covet. Covet thy neighbor's wife. Um. Um. All right. So this is a verb, whereas maybe Chan Yan would be. Chan -yan. Is Chan Yan a word? Chanyan. It doesn't look like it's a word. All right, I'm going to assume it's not a word. I'm not going to search through all that. Chan. Chan Yeah, greedy mouth. Chan zui. Ni zhe chan zui. In English, you can say garbage guts or greedy garbage guts. You eat, you eat a lot. Ni zhe wa chan zui. Ba ping guo xian bing. Uh, you ate the whole apple pie. Um, yeah. Chanren. Okay, so this is... So this means to make people chan, right? There's quite a few words like that. Dongren is another one. Dongren. Dongren is like... Rangren jere gan dong. Um, this is... Rangren jere um, chan. <laughs> Uh, what other ones are there? Um, oh, Jingren, yeah, Jingren. Jingren, yeah, Lingren, Chu Jing. Yeah, so you startle people. Xiaren. Xiaren, Xiaren. Yeah, Xiren, Hai Pa, Xiaren. So there's quite a few words like that. So Chanren uses that structure. So, Shu Ren, Jere Han Chan. All right, what else we got? Um, Chan Zui Wa. This is the name of a dish. All right, maybe there's no other ones. And the munchies. Munchies. Hmm, Ji Ogan, the munchies. Wahan Chan? You put on Wahan Chan? Go to Munchies. I think you can say that. But maybe I'm wrong. It's been a while since I looked at that one. You can say Wahan. Well, oh, thank you. Um, how would you express Munchies in Chinese? You don't need to eat, but. Uh, Feel like snacking, nevertheless. Got the munchies. Ling Shi Yu. All right. This is junk food desire. Some Chi Di Ar Ling Shi Yu. Can you say Wo Han Chan? Wo Han Chan? Wo Han Chan? Chan, <laughs> I am, um, yeah, to have a craving, <laughs> to have a craving, okay, Wohan <laughs> Chan, strong day, craving for delicious food, or oh, well, all right, all right, how long are we going, okay, we'll do one or two more words in that, call it a day, ah, uh, yeah, this is a verb to lie on one's stomach, to lie prone, it's, I think it's pretty much the same in English and Chinese, so let's just look at photos and Pa. Uh, you need to get the right pa. Okay, so it's foot. Foot eight. Foot eight. The character foot eight. I'm in Dorsh. It's a pa. 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 Shui. So George is shy. Dorsh is young. Okay. Pa. Je. Shui. Pa. Je. Shui. This is sleep prone, right? Okay. Pa. Je. Nu ren tu pian. Okay, so this is the photo of a woman who is parging, who is leaning on the front. Uh Oh, is a hiccups, right? Alright, so this is what it is. 
So what animals will pa It's only a Um, Alright. Alright, so this is different people pie. What's this one? Pa shui, right? Um pa ji shui, uh hai shi tang ji shui. Um zhong shui sheng, uh yao bu yao wu shui. Alright, so this is in China there's like a wu shui, a concept of wu shui like um, having a siesta at noon. Um, I don't know. Different countries have different habits, right? It's common in Spain because it's just too hot in Spain. Um, but it's not like that in China, so I don't know why. I don't know why it's popular here. Not popular in Australia. It's like sleeping on the job. I don't know about that. <laughs> Get in trouble for that. All right, um, so pa, it's a verb meaning to lie on one's stomach. And I think it's pretty similar in English and Chinese. It's, I guess the thing you want to pay attention to is the character. It might be a little a little bit hard to remember because it's just one character. First tone, pa, one character. Foot eight. Right, foot eight. <laughs> All right. And we'll do one more and then call it a day. Ju zu cheng le. Ye ju. Zu, Manzu, yeah, right. Uh, Chang, uh, no, Jing Chang, Chang Chang, Tong Chang, Ping Chang, Lo, happy. All right, so if you know Zu, Manzu, uh, contentment, you will often be happy, right? Happiness con consists in, in contentment. Is that. Maybe like contentment gives rise to happiness, or <laughs> happiness stems from contentment. <laughs> Basically, you, if you're satisfied with what you've got already, um, yeah, you will find yourself happy, right? Um, yeah, people criticize modern society and say, oh, everyone always wants to buy something better. And it's like they get that something better and then they want to buy something better again and they're never really happy, never satisfied. So, so understanding satis uh, being satisfying, being satisfied with what you got, and you'll be happy. So it's a chong yu. We should look at example sentences. All right. Okay, please give me 10 example sentences for ju zu chang le. Ju zu chang le. Chang Jing Chang de Chang Lo Kwai Lo de Lo Yu Lo de Lo, no, it's Kwai Lo. And I want to put the word diverse. Ah, Sui Ren may or Hendo Tai Fu, then Zong Shi Ji Zu Chang Lo, a God Fei Chang Xing Fu. All right, so ta ju zu cheng le. So it kind of functions as a verb, right? Ta ju zu cheng le. Ta zong shi ju ju zu cheng le. Uh, 学会珍惜眼前的幸福。嗯，懂得具足成乐。So this is functioning as a noun here, is it? 懂得 understanding, being satisfied with what one has. 呃，才能真正体验生活的美好。啊，这快节奏的啊，都市都市生活中，啊，懂得具足成乐是呃、啊，保持心灵平静的重要法则。Yeah， 具足成乐。So understanding， 具足成乐 ，contentment <咳>。Understanding how contentment can bring happiness。嗯，啊，不要比 ，Here。啊，虽然工作不算呃轻松，但他总是知足常乐，享受每一刻的劳动成果。嗯
呃、uh, ，OK， 不要总是追求更多，懂得知足常乐，常乐才能呃拥有、嗯、真正的内在安宁。Yeah, inner peace. <laughs> so yeah, understanding 知知足常乐 can bring a bit 嗯、uh, can give you inner peace. 嗯，生活中的很多小幸福，嗯呃，只要我们懂得。去发现，呃，就能实现具足承诺。嗯 ，OK， so we need to find the blessings in everyday life. 嗯、um, ，and we will realize 具足承诺 ，happy being happy with what we've got. Yeah, I think a lot of the time people want more because like adverts and things like that, right? It's not like they actually need more. It's not like it will improve their quality of life. Uh, a lot of the time, like the more you have, the more burdens you have. It makes your life worse. I think, like adverts, constantly telling you you need to buy this, you need to buy that. What you have at the moment is not good enough.、Um, I think that, and just like they not just convince you, they convince your family members and friends and whatnot. And when your friends see you enjoying your contented life, it's like、um, you need to buy more things. Go buy more things. It's like I, I don't, I don't need more things. I, I am quite comfortable with the things I already have. No, no, you need to buy more things. This is the kind of problem, isn't it? Do, 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 so, yeah, maybe you're happy with your own things and contented, and find that unproblematic. But other people will start like trying to yeah, enforce you to <laughs> enforce a capitalist lifestyle upon you. Ah, in the world. 呃，环保中，呃，人们更容易感到呃，感受到制作承诺的心境。Yeah, all right. So, so in the embrace of nature, uh, people um can uh easily feel contentment, the um happiness through contentment, the 心境 a mental state here.、Yeah. A mental state of happiness through contentment. <coughs> 有时候简简单单的生活，呃，才是最幸福的。嗯，呃，真正的幸福源于知足常乐。Yeah. So sometimes this a simple lifestyle, um, is the most blessed. Yeah. I'm. I feel like as I'm getting older, it's like. I'm less convinced to buy things. It's like,、uh-uh, what's wrong with the clothes I have? What's wrong with the bed I have? Why do I need to constantly buy things? Yeah, I think I'm becoming very 知足常乐 Just like, yeah, I, I don't know. This is fine. I will accept this. I don't need new things. Uh, okay, 不要因为贪图无味贪图 this greed or something like that. 贪图 covet 无味。那个无味是什么？味 this way is what you answer the phone with, right? Way no, that's not that one. 无味哦，这是无所谓的味。无味 pointless, meaningless. All right, I don't know this. 贪图无味的欲望 So covet pointless、um, desires are 失去对。已有幸福的具足常乐心态。嗯 ，so don't don't uh give up um the blessing contentment gives due to coveting pointless desires. Yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, what else? Is there anything left? We'll just look it up on Flickr. And yeah, 具具足常乐。居足常乐，居足常乐。Yeah. All right. Um. All right. That's not exactly the、mm, largest number of example sentences I've ever encountered on、um, what? Ah.、Oh. Can you use the other chunk? Really? Okay, so you can use both. 居足常乐 So this 常 is long, long happiness. This is frequent happiness. All right, 居足常乐 
So there's two ways of writing it. So I guess this is the official one. And we'll jot down Ju Zu Hang Lu. You know, I've never noticed that until just now. Ju Zu Hang Lu. It's the same meaning though, right? It's just you're an alternative writing. <laughs> Yeah, I never realized. I've always written this because it. I don't know. It made long, made logical sense, right? Yeah. All right. I'm tired. I'm gonna have a what we call lunch. Um. Yeah. I'm gonna go back to Juzhou Changluing. Oh, shopping. Don't forget. Don't forget. 谢谢大家，下次聊，拜拜。